Welcome back to the channel folks, my name's Shane. So today I've got something a little bit different to share with you. A couple of weeks back I was contacted by a lefty guitar player from Budapest called Abraham who's also a gun artist. He said, check out some of my links and see what you think. I was like, man, this guy's really talented and some of this stuff looks great. He was obviously a bit of a fan of my homemade job back here on my posters and he said, if there's anything that catches your eye, let me know and I'll send you a couple of things out. And that's what he's done. So this artwork is really cool and it looks like he's also sent out some what looks to be some merch. I haven't opened any of this yet, so I'm gonna do that on camera and give you my first impressions. If you'd like to find out about this stuff, if you like it, links will be in the description as well. I'm looking forward to this because I'm a big fan of some of the stuff I saw on his website. I'll probably overlay a couple little bits and pieces over this part of the video as well. So you get a gist of what it's like. So let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with this one first. This one looks maybe the most impressive out of all of the boxes. This first piece is from Abraham's shop on display and check out this little purple guy over here. How cool is this? And this is just the box. So let's open this up and see what we get. Ha oh, ha, look at this. Muddy waters. How cool is this? So obviously it's covered in plastic right now. You might be seeing some reflections, but I'll shoot some better shots if I can and overlay those as well. There you go, that actually looks pretty good like that. Man, what, a, what an artist, huh? So there you go, this is on an actual metal plate. So yeah, it's a nice high quality product. So this probably go in the podcast room, I think, rather than sort of butchering the wall back here. This is much better than the stuff I've got on the wall, but yeah, I want to, I like that they're all uniform in terms of size. This is slightly larger, um, but overall it looks great. How much bigger is it actually? Maybe it's similar size. Yeah, it is a little bit larger. So it's larger than a three. So yeah, overall that's pretty wild. Muddy Waters, one of my favorites. It looks awesome, looks great. To mount this to the wall, it's a three-step process, which is really easy. It comes with this cleaning wipe, which you clean the wall with. You also get a magnet that you can take off the actual plate, of course. You peel this off, stick it to the wall, and then you can mount this anywhere you like. This is definitely going out in the podcast room. I think this looks really great. and looks awesome without the plastic on it as well. Although it's got some fingerprints on it now, <laughs> it still looks awesome. Up next we get this one. I'm tipping this might be some posters. I don't know if I'm doing the best job of unraveling this, but uh, yeah, it is, oh wow. Abraham, thank you mate. He's packaged up quite a lot from what it looks like already. So, um, wow. I, uh, I really appreciate this mate. This is, uh, this is something else. Now I'm just using a piece of card just to hold this up in front of the camera just because it has been curled up for quite a while and I just want to show you how it looked flat but we have a flying V. How awesome is that? And it's a lefty. I'm pretty sure it is a lefty. How great is that? So yeah, beautiful work man. That one looks awesome. How about this next one? This is Stevie Ray Vaughan's number one guitar. This looks fantastic. I actually prefer this over a lot of the stuff that's going on back there. So. Being that there's so many of these posters, maybe we'll see a refresh in this room coming up. But yeah, look at that. Man, the detail is just absolutely stunning. This next one is Slash, from what I can gather. How about this? I really like his style. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below what you think of some of this stuff. This next one's the BB King. Take a look at that. I think that looks pretty wild as well. Unreal. I'll go up close so you can get a really nice, clear look at what's going on here. If you can watch in 4K, check that out. Up next, this is Papa Chubby. If you don't know who he is, check out an album called Booty and the Beast. One of the best blues albums of all time. This guy can outplay just about everybody on the planet. He's a beast. So how cool is this? Unreal, one of my favorite players. Up next is Jimi Hendrix playing an upside down righty guitar. I thought that looks pretty cool as well. Let me know what you think of this one. Up next we have Keith Richards, and you can tell it's him because of those hands. If you don't know what his hands look like, Google Keith Richards hands and come back. But yeah, check that out, that's his tally. Awesome stuff. And lastly we have the Jimmy Page double neck guitar. Check out all the detail in this. Very cool. Up next we have this little box. This will be some of the other type of merch that I think he sells as well. So we'll take a look at this. Boom, we get a mug with what looks to be an Epiphone Casino on there as well. Very nice. Awesome. 
And lastly, we have this. This is Jack White's guitar on the back of a phone case. You can get all different kinds of phone cases as well by the looks of it. All the links will be below as well. This is Jack White's guitar on the back of this particular phone case. So yeah, very cool. This I think is for a six, a seven or an eight when it comes to the iPhone. And I've actually got a 6S Plus. So this is too small for my phone. What I might do coming up is work out a giveaway and I'll send this out to one lucky person anywhere in the world. So stay tuned for that. A massive thanks to Abraham for sending out all this stuff. I think the podcast room is going to look like a million bucks once I get a few of these posters up on the wall. And the metal plate is really something special as well. I've got to tell you, I'm really impressed not only by, you know, how this looks, but just the quality of the actual, you know, it's basically its own frame already being that it's a metal plate. You don't need to sort of mount it onto anything, which, you know, all my crappy ones back here are laminated. This is... This is actually metal, so it feels really, really good. And his artwork just looks great. Let me know what you think of it in the comments below as well. Artwork's all subjective, but I really like it. It's got sort of like an otherworldly kind of look to it as well, which I, I think really stands out. These are great. I actually might order a few more of these metal plates coming up because, uh, yeah, I dig it. Down in the description, I'll link which ones go to which store as well. Um, like I said before, I don't get commission from any of this, but Abraham was nice enough to want to send some of this out and let me keep it. So you'll see some of this pop up on the channel, I'm sure, whether it's in this room or whether it's in the podcast room. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out his stuff. My name's Shane. I'll catch you soon. See ya.